As Tampa Bay grows and mom and pop shops are replaced by corporate chains, many locals say it's a struggle to keep that charm. And with the coronavirus pandemic pushing even more beloved places out of business for good, 10 Tampa Bay's Candace Avila shows us one artist's efforts to remember the city's disappearing gems. Well, it's just called the Tampa Bay Project. From the State Theater to the Old Pier, Daddy Cool Records to the Buccaneer Motel. Do you remember these St. Pete classics? What about Wilson's? It was the bar they used to film Magic Mike. Awesome bar. But yeah, I, think, I don't think they're open anymore. I think they, uh, I think because of the COVID thing, I think they didn't make it. Artist Stuart Andrews' goal is making sure the original staples creating St. Pete's character are not forgotten. When they started overdeveloping, it, it felt like a ghost town to me, even though the population started growing. To me, I didn't feel at home and it felt empty and vacuous. But that's the price of progress, I guess. He kept the paintings empty without people for that reason, depicting the loneliness of losing one's true identity. Having seen the area change drastically over the past 14 years, he remembers a simpler time when it cost $400 to rent an apartment in the popular Old Northeast neighborhood, something that would cost upwards of $1,500 now. He also posts faces of painting for those wanting to learn. I did the Detroit as the very last painting, which was the very first place I lived when I moved here, so that's kind of a weird backward thing. We reported on a few of the changes, like losing the St. Pete Tower due to expansion, and when Daddy Cool Records had to move after decades of being where they were, due to their rent tripling under a new landlord to almost $10,000 a month. Andrew says seeing his collection of 102 Tampa Bay classics is therapeutic for those who remember. Probably at least 10 to 15 percent have just been people saying thank you. I was hoping that somebody would record all these cool things before they completely make it, you know, this modern, you know, generic wasteland. Man, so many changes and it can be really emotional when you look at that kind of thing. So if you'd like to learn more about classic places in St. Pete from the past, we have a link to his work on our website.